Hello and welcome. Welcome to the Arts Council of Surrey Community Gallery here at Newton Cultural Centre. My name is Wendy Mould and I'm the producer of Gallery Talks. And this month we will be meeting our feature artists Carla Mescal and Patricia Sparks. Carla's show is called Pandemic Projects and Patricia's is Soulful. I'm very excited to meet the girls and learn more about their show. To see their show, you can go to the artscouncilofsurrey.ca website or book an appointment to see it live. Both of the girls have a very powerful message in their work, and I'm pretty excited to see and hear more about their message. So, let's go meet Carla and Patricia. Hi. Well, Carla, it's really exciting to see you here today and to see your show. I have seen your work in other places over the years, but it's really nice to see a collection of your work. So, um, Carla's here today with her show, uh, Pandemic Projects, and with her picture that she wanted to chat with us about today, our relationship with nature. So tell us, Carla, something about this picture. It's pictures that um, I painted during COVID-19. I think it, I want to show it first even though it's not one of my most uh, well done paintings but because of what it shows that I was working through my emotions and trying to process what was going on in the world at this time. So at the beginning we were trying to figure out whether or not COVID-19 was zoonotic in nature. We had breaking down food chains, supply chains, or we were re-examining our relationship with uh, animals uh, and I paint sheep because I love sheep and I visit Salt Spring Island quite often. So and I painted them in a circular arrangement because I was thinking about again chains, the world, global issues and yeah so and the disturbances uh, we have on the planet as humans. Oh, well, thank you very much. That's really interesting. So, uh, wow, this picture really caught my eye, Carla. Um, it's called, My Knees Counted 18 Boats. Now, as a person that does a lot of fishing along the coast and spent a lot of time on the islands, I was disgusted that she counted 18 boats. I really thought that things were better now. So tell us, where did you see this and how did this happen? Yeah, this was a, a very emotional day for myself and my niece, and this happened um, just off the shores of um, Salt Spring Island, and this is my view from the ferry. My niece um, and I were standing on the upper deck, and she she's nine years old, and she grew quite distressed because I didn't even say a word to her, I didn't even mention it. She just herself saw and counted 18 boats surrounding this pod of whales. This is in the summer of 2020 during the pandemic when things were a bit quieter on the water, but Bonnie and Henry had just opened things up and we were allowed to travel again. So anyways, 18 boats were surrounding this transient pod. And um, art gives us a really good chance to express our emotions and especially during this time of uh, uh, unsettling time of COVID, uh, it's a good outlet. So I just really had to get this down uh, and paint this for my niece mostly. Oh, well, thank you. Yes, thank you very much. Okay, well, let's have a look at another one. Well, I must say, Carla, this picture here is in sort of a nice uh, ending after the very sad picture of seeing those whales being harassed. Uh, and can you tell us why the contrast between the first two pictures and what this picture is about? Yeah, well, this picture is called uh, The Blessings of a Garden uh, because during the time of COVID-19, a lot of people found joy going out in the garden and gardening and spending time in nature and so did I. I, spent, I liked to go down to the gardens and paint plein air. I enjoy feeling connection with nature. It makes me feel relaxed and less stressed. 
So, yeah, this nature and its cycles and it gives us hope in a time like this. So, this is um, why I painted this picture. Well, thank you very much, Carla. It's really been a pleasure to meet and talk with you and to learn more about your work. I look forward to seeing it in, in the future. Thank you again for speaking with us today. Thank you, Wendy. I know Patricia, I've seen your work in a number of places and I'm always struck by the strength of it. And this warrior here really uh, personifies that. So Patricia, tell us about your show, Soulful, and how this picture, Warrior Strength, works into it. Well, this picture here I painted because of, I wanted to show the beauty and the strength in women in general, but especially women of color. Go through uh, a lot of things in life that um, really develop uh, warrior strength. And a lot of women nowadays, the things they have to experience in life and raising kids, um, they have to have a warrior soul. And for instance, this piece I wanted to show also women that have gone through cancer, that have to shave their heads, and but. At the same time, they can still remain very beautiful um, inside and out. Very good. I certainly feel all of that when I look at that picture. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, let's go and have a look at another one of Carla's, of, uh, <laughs> not Carla, Patricia's <laughs> pictures. Oh man, I really like this one. It's quite a contrast in color for sure, and uh, certainly um, gives me some things to think about. XO, I love you. Tell us about it. Well, I did this piece because it was a tribute to women and how we are the soul of the family and how we give our love to in so many different ways. And I uh, wanted to go in a new direction. I was, I usually work in realism and I wanted to try some abstract and realism together. And so, this is my first venture into some really bright colors. Well, I think it really worked. I must admit, I love that mix of abstract and realism as well. Okay, well let's move on and have a look at another picture of Patricia's. Wow, this is really something, Patricia. Thanks. Majestic Thunder. Whoa, tell us about this one. Well, when I think of elephants, I always think of strength and I, I kind of um, look at strength and soul, they kind of go together uh, with passion. And every once in a while I like to take a break from portrait art and paint um, wildlife. And elephants are one of my favorite things to paint. I see, yes, very, uh, very powerful. I see the same strength there as I saw in your warrior in the first picture. Definitely, uh, you've got that sense there. Well, this has been a real pleasure to talk with you, uh, Patricia. I've really enjoyed having this time with you and to hear more about your work. And I just want to remind everyone that uh, Patricia Sparks' show, um, Soulful, and uh, Carla Mascal's show, Pandemic Projects, will be here until February 27th. And you can see their shows on the virtual gallery at Arts Art Council of
surrey.ca or make an appointment and come down and see them in, in life. And I do encourage you to do that because some of these pieces are definitely lost in the uh, in a small format. Seeing them live really sets them off. Thank you again, and uh, we'll see you.